What up, guys? This is Chivo Cars. Back here again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focusing on the thermal walkthrough for Human Fall Flat. This is some new free DLC that they added to the game via an update. There's actually no downloadable content you need to download. It's going to be included in an update. This update added four achievements worth 120 gamer score. For those that don't know, this game is on Xbox Game Pass. So if you have Xbox Game Pass, you can go ahead and play it for free. To find the new thermal level, you need to go to extra dreams and then pick a dream. And then you're going to see the thermal level right there. Overall, this level is going to take you anywhere from 30 to 90 minutes. It is a bit skill dependent. It depends on if you know what you're doing and know where you're going. Now, I'm going to be covering all four achievements in this guide for the level. So as long as you're following along, you're going to get all of the achievements or trophies related to the thermal update. Now, first things first, we have to get this piece of metal out of that cabin. I think the quickest way is to just get it out of that little hole that I pulled it out of. At that point, you want to grab the end of the panel and you want to try to make a bridge out of it. It's going to be a little tricky. You definitely have to grab the end of it. And if the bridge collapses, just make a jump for it. And if you need to pull yourself up, for those that don't know, um, while you're holding on with both hands, you're going to hold down on the right trigger to pull yourself up. After that, we're going to jump over this cliff. And then we're going to end up in this area where we're going to do some platforming and then we're going to have to swing from this rope. Now in this video, I'm going to have my footage rolling at 150% speed. So it's going to be about halfway sped up. That's just an effort to make the guide a little more quick and to the point because this game can be a little slow. He walks a little slow and I really just want to get to the objectives and teach you guys how to navigate through the level. Now to reach that rope, you may need to double jump on that little island before you grab it. For those that don't know, um, if you jump like every couple seconds, pretty much every time your feet touch the ground again, you want to jump, you can speed yourself up that way and you can get a little bit farther on jumps and just run a little bit faster. First thing we're going to do is we're going to pull this plank out of the window. That's because it's freezing up this bookshelf right there. After we close the window, we'll be able to slide the bookshelf over. We're going to go through this door and we're going to navigate through the cave. What we need to do is get the torches at the end of the cave. We just need to grab one of them. To do so, we're going to slide a box underneath and we can climb up it and grab one of the torches. We're going to take this torch back over to the cabin where we'll be able to light it up in the fireplace. At that point, we'll be able to bring back the lit torch and light up this campfire right there. So try to take the torch back quickly. Don't be like me and shut the door with the torch. <laughs> Pick up the torch and what we need to do is get it inside of this little furnace, fireplace, whatever you want to call it. As usual, it's human fall flat so it's a little bit tricky with the controls but eventually you'll get it lit up. Once you light the torch on fire, we're going to head back through the door and down the cave. Once we're at the end of the cave, you're going to see the fireplace sitting there right in front of where we got the torch. We're going to light up that fireplace and it's going to melt this ice wall here right next to it. That's going to let us proceed to the next part of the level. You want to make sure you don't go too far down that slippery slope uh, because we haven't got our checkpoint quite yet. You want to jump off of this cliff over here to this cliff below and then we're going to jump on this wooden panel. Once you walk through there you're going to get a checkpoint. It's going to save your game. So next we're going to be going for the hook line and jumper achievement for 40 gamer score. This is for entering the compound in thermal without passing through the main gate. So first thing we need to do is wind that up. That's going to elevate this platform. We're going to jump from that platform over to this little uh, building right here. We're going to walk through the blue door and we're going to find the hook. You want to grab the edge of the hook and then we're going to take it with us. Next, we can go ahead and jump off of this ledge. We're going to need to take this hook up those stairs. So go ahead and jump off, we're going to walk up and then there's going to be a little break in the stairs. Um, we're not really going to be able to jump up there so I recommend just laying the hook on the stairs and then jumping up. If you fall, hopefully you don't drop the hook otherwise you're going to have to grab the hook all over again. We're going to take the hook with us over here, we're going to go up this little staircase and you're going to see this switch above you. It's black. What we need to do is hook it with the hook and pull it towards us. This is going to drop a staircase. Go ahead and hold on to the hook for now because we need it for one more thing. We're going to take the hook up the stairs and then head over to the right. 
You're going to have to make a few jumps here. I recommend jumping from side to side. It makes it a little bit easier. After that, we're going to follow the ledge all the way over, and then we're going to see a little zip line. You want to use the hook to take the zip line. It might be a little tricky. You just need to grab the end of the hook. That way you could reach it. After that, we don't need the hook anymore. We're going to have to make a jump for it to this icy ledge over here. Once you make that jump, we're going to have to pull ourselves up a couple of ledges. So just make sure you grab the ledge and pull yourself up. After we pull ourselves up a few ledges, we're going to have to make a jump for it to this window. Um, you just want to make sure you're holding down both of the left and the right trigger. That way you can hang on to the window ledge. You definitely don't want to miss this. Otherwise, we're going to have to do that all over again. So good luck making that jump. It isn't too difficult. After that, we're going to open the door and just fall down. After a few seconds, your achievement or trophy should pop for skipping the main gate. Alright, and now we're to the next part of the level and the next puzzle. So in this part of the level, there's going to be four different wires laying around. They're all different colors. There's a yellow one, a blue one, a green one, and a red one. The yellow one's going to be in plain sight right in the middle. The two that we actually have to go for are the blue and the green. First thing you want to do is take a crate over here because we're going to jump on top of this little plum colored building. So just jump on top of the box and then jump on top of the shed and then you're going to find the green wire above. Now we're going to have to take all these wires up those uh, stairs or that ramp over there. That's going to lead to the control room. So we're just going to walk up there with the green wire. That's going to be the first wire. The red wire is actually sitting there right in the control room. So we're actually going to have two of the four wires. We're going to go ahead and open up this blue door. You're going to see the red wire there on the floor. We'll go ahead and drag the green one in here. We're going to end up having to plug all of these in. There's also an achievement or trophy related to it. For now, we're going to go get the other two wires. You can either jump over the ledge or jump through it. The yellow one's right there. However, we still need to get the blue one. The blue one's going to be located inside of the shed that the other one was located on top of. So just going to move the crate that we jumped on top of, walk in, and we're going to find the blue wire in the shed. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop this ramp in effort to take the blue wire across. Now a quick and easy way to do this is going to be to drag a crate under the ramp. That way we'll be able to jump from the ramp to the other ledge with the blue wire. So go ahead and jump off of the ledge. Just make sure you don't jump off with the wire because we need to put the crate below this ramp. Once you put the crate below the ramp, we can go ahead and jump back on the ledge and we can uh, just like run into the ramp to drop it. So just move into it. It's going to drop and then we're going to be able to jump over with the blue wire and take it upstairs to the control room. At this point, we're only going to have one wire left, which is the yellow wire. Luckily, we know where it's at. It's right in the middle. We're going to have to find a way to get it up the ledge. However, I got a cool little trick uh, that'll make it nice and easy. So go ahead and put the blue wire in the control room and then we're going to head back downstairs. Now we have an achievement coming up for plugging in all of those wires in under 35 seconds. It's actually pretty difficult if you're doing it by yourself. If you are playing in co-op and you have partners, it's obviously going to be easier because you'll have help plugging them in and you'll be able to do it faster. Now it is possible doing it by yourself, but it just takes some practice. So I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks shortly. So you want to move the crate uh, just below the ramp right there and we'll be able to jump off of it to get on the ledge. Just make sure that you bring your yellow wire with you. So the achievement that we're about to go for here is the Amped achievement. It's worth 40 gamer score. Again, it's for plugging all of the wires in in under 35 seconds. There's going to be 8 slots total. The best thing you could do is set up the wires right in front of the ports so you could set yourself up for success. And the second tip would be when you start, have a wire in each hand. That way you can plug them in right away. As you can see, I plugged in the first four slots pretty quickly because I set myself up for success. After that, you want to grab the other four wires as quickly as you can and get them plugged in. You want to make sure that you're grabbing the end of the wires. That way you can plug them in easily. If you happen to grab, let's say, you know, two or three feet away from the end of the wire, it's going to be a lot more floppy at the end. And it's going to be a lot harder to plug straight in. More than likely, you're not going to get this on your first try. So if you don't, you can unplug them and try again. The timer starts once you plug in your first wire. So from the first wire you plug in, from the last wire you plug in, you have to do that in under 35 seconds. So now that we got that taken care of, what we're going to do next is grab one of these big golden nuggets and we need to take it up the elevator that just activated. So there's an elevator straight ahead if you follow the tracks. 
We're going to be taking this golden nugget up the elevator because we're going to use it to break a window. So just go ahead and lay down the golden nugget and then press one of the buttons using one of your hands. That's going to send the elevator upstairs. And it's going to be a little tricky to break the window, but you'll break it eventually. I think you need to let go of it last second to break it. It's either that or you just need to hit it a few times. But you'll see. Um, I tried throwing it against the window just a few times and eventually it breaks. So just keep trying. If it's not working for you, try letting go of it right before you hit the window and eventually it'll break. Once it finally breaks, we're going to jump in the window and we need to press the switch in the control panel. When you use the switch on the control panel, it's going to move the drill down and it's going to drill into the floor. Once you drill it into the floor, it's going to reveal the next part of the level. You can look out the window to make sure that you drilled it. As you can see, I didn't drill it quite yet, so I did it again just to make sure. And then just check the window before you jump out of the little uh, control room here because you want to make sure that you actually drill the hole. So as you can see, there's a the hole drilled now. So I'm going to actually go through the left side. This is the door that was locked by the control room. You can move the filing cabinet and walk out of this door. Or you can just trace your steps back where we came from, um, down that elevator, and so on and so forth. But the drill is really hard to miss. All we need to do is navigate our way towards the drill. I'm just going to jump off this ledge. And as you can see, there's a hole in the floor now. You need to fall through that floor. We're going to end up in a cave with some gold. We're going to find our way down the cave. And we're actually getting towards the end of the level, guys. So we're almost there. We actually have two achievements left. One is simply for completing the level, and then the other is for taking a golden nugget with us all the way to the end. I'll be showing you guys how to do that at the end of this video. First thing you want to do is grab this rock off of this, I don't know what you call them, let's just call them lava vents. You need to take it off of that vent and then bring it to the nearest vent. After that, we can walk above the one that we just moved the rock from, and it's going to be activated. It's going to have just enough power to push us up this first ledge. After that, you want to jump on the next ledge, and then we're going to have to make our way all the way over to grab that rock at the end. Now, these cliffs are a little unstable, so be careful. The hardest part is going to be making our way back with the rock over these cliffs. Yeah, that's right. We have to bring this rock all the way back over there. At first, I was having a lot of trouble with this, and then I figured out it's just about the way you grab the rock. So you want to grab the rock with one hand and kind of be like dragging it behind you. And that's how we're going to make our way back over these super sketch ledges. So make sure you're dragging the rock behind you with one hand and just take it nice and slow one ledge at a time. So we're going to start off with jumping to the first one. I think I got a good hold on it. You'll be able to tell uh, once you jump for the first time if you're dragging it behind you. That's how you want it to look. Once again, just take it nice and slow. You don't want to be jumping too fast, otherwise uh, you might fall. Trust me, I tried this a bunch of different ways and I found that this was the only efficient way to get the rock over here. Next, we got to take this rock and put it above the lava vent that we uh, boosted up to get on this ledge. It's not this one, but it's the one that we used to boost up on the ledge. Now that we're not using it anymore, we can put this rock above it. That's going to clog it up and it's going to make the next vent even more powerful. The one we need to stand above is the one right here. Once we stand above this one, this one is going to shoot us up to the ledge. After that, we're going to have to jump from ledge to ledge. Just make sure that you're holding down the triggers uh, because you aren't going to be able to simply to jump from ledge to ledge. You're going to have to grab onto the ledge and then pull yourself up. What we're doing here is we have to make our way across because we have one more rock. We're going to clog one more vent and it's going to make our last lava vent super powerful, which will help us get to the next part of the level. Now when you get to this platform, it moves back and forth, so you need to stand at the edge so it turns into a ramp. And then you're going to walk up quickly and then jump and hold on to the ledge and pull yourself up. That's going to send us to this little side portion of the level. We're going to need to use this lava vent to boost ourselves up. Once you boost yourself up, you want to make sure that you grab the rock while you're flying in the air. You want to take that rock and we're going to put it over the lava vent that we just boosted off of. This is going to clog the last lava vent, and now we can make our way back over this ledge. Just be careful, there's a pit where you're going to die uh, right over the ledge, so if you die, it's no big deal. We're not going to lose any progress or anything like that. I actually fell and died myself. It's just going to teleport us right back where we were. So now that we have all of the vents clogged, what we need to do is 
take off the first stone that we laid down. It's nearest to the entrance that we came through. This one right here. We're going to move that rock off and we're going to move it on to the last one that we boosted up off of. This is going to give the first vent the ultimate power and we're going to be able to boost ourselves out of here. So assuming you put all the rocks in the correct places, we're going to boost up here. Next, we're just going to make our way down this cave. There's going to be some rocks at the end. We're going to have to move at least one or two of them out of the way. After that, you can just jump over them to make your way through. We are entering the last part of the level and we should be getting a checkpoint shortly. Once you get through those pebbles, you're going to find a mine cart and a rope with a loop at the end. What we need to do is take this loop and we need to hook it on the end of the mine cart. Because basically we're going to end up rappelling down it. So make sure that you loop it over the edge of the mine cart. And then you want to pull the cart back just a little bit. Because if you have it all the way over, you'll find that it'll unhook itself. You need the cart to uh, push a little bit. That way it lets you down slowly and it doesn't unhook itself. So make sure it's not pushed all the way to the edge. Feel free to try it yourself, but it's probably going to unhook if you don't pull the mine cart back and you're going to end up having to respawn and hook it all over again. So just make sure you pull it back and then we can go ahead and fall off. I recommend falling off through the middle of the track just so the rope doesn't go side to side too much. After that, we're going to swing ourselves forward and backward until we have enough momentum to let go and make the jump. I'd say it's always better to be safe than sorry. So make sure that you get enough swing before you let go. Otherwise, you're going to have to do that part over again. Next, we're going to have to jump from ledge to ledge. No need to hold your arms out. You can actually make all of the jumps. If anything, holding your hands up with the grip might grip you onto the wall and that might mess up one of your jumps. You're going to get to a part with a frozen waterfall. No worries. You can actually make the jump to that frozen waterfall. Just make sure you don't slide down. After the waterfall, you're going to need to hold your hands out for this jump. I don't think you can make it, so make sure you hold your hands out for that one. After that, we're going to have two, I don't know what they are, let's just call them vines that we can swing from. Now, you don't actually need to go to the second vine. You can use the first vine to swing all the way to the platform. Now, you may not make the jump, but you'll at least make it all the way to the ledge, so make sure you're holding your hands out. After that, we are at the end of the level, guys. You just need to walk through this door. Make sure you don't walk forward too much because the floor is going to break and we have one more achievement to get. So what we have to do is grab one of those gold bars and bring it down with us towards the end of the level. Now you see the line that I'm closest to. If you pass that line, the floor will break. So you want to line yourself up and then jump before that line. If you did it correctly, you'll make it over and you can pull yourself up. You're going to grab the gold bar and you're going to hold on to it and drop down and complete the level. This is going to unlock the last missable achievement. Now it did save and we got a checkpoint right before this. So if for some reason you missed the jump, just make sure that you press start and load the checkpoint right away. Other than that, guys, that about wraps up my achievement walkthrough for the thermal level in Human Fall Flat. That's going to unlock our last two achievements, giving us the full 120 gamer score for this update. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe.